All right, in this problem, we are given the probability density function and we are asked first to uh, graph it. And in uh, other parts, uh, we're going to uh, find probabilities, which of course, as you can guess, that we're going to find then the areas under this uh, PDF uh, curve. Okay, that's why it's very essential that uh, as a first step to find probabilities, we need to know how to plot these PDFs. Okay, so we are given that a PDF uh, for a variable x is given to be uh, f of x equal to x minus 1 over 8 for an interval of x between 1 and 5. It's very important to identify the domain of x, okay, or the interval within which x can have its values. So here, this PDF is applicable for this range. So we want, as a first part, to graph the density function. All right, now the density function as given to us like that, it may not be cl uh, uh, clear for us. How does it look like? So let me do some uh, uh, restructuring of that PDF. So what I'm going to do, I will, div I will divide the two parts of the numerator, which are the x and the minus 1, by the common denominator. So we have x, we have minus 1. I'll divide each one of them by the denominator. So it becomes x over 8 minus 1 over 8. And I will finally, this will be my final form. And this form remind me of a very, very common form, which is y equal a plus bx, right? Where we know that a is the intercept of a line and b is, is the slope of a line. This is a straight line, right? So it's a straight line that starts from a value in the y-axis equal to a, which is the intercept. In our case, okay, it's minus 1 over 8, okay, plus 1 over 8. So our intercept is minus 1 over 8, and the slope is 1 over 8. Okay, now, to, to plot the straight line, what do we have to do? We need to... You know that uh, if you if you have straight line, all what you have to do is to find two points on the line, and that's it. You join these two points, you get the line. So remember that this function is valid between x equal one and five. So what I want to do, I will find the points at the extremes. So at x equal one, I will find f of one. So I will get that point. And for x equal 5, I will find f of 5. So I will get the second point, and then I will join them. So here we go. For x equal 1, f of 1, okay, for x equal 1, f of 1, all what you have to do, simply plug 1 here. It's either in the original function or in the uh, restructured uh, function that I did here. So that would be equal to 0, right? It's 1 minus 1, so that's 0. Then for x equal 5, okay, I will plug here 5 instead of x. So it's 5 minus 1, okay, 4 over 8. So that's 4 over 8 that we get here. Now I have two points. So what I do now, I identify these or I locate these points on my axis and I can join the line. So x can be between 1 and 5. Now you can see that we found two um, two values for on the vertical axis okay which is 0 and 4 over 8. So that's why I'm going to use a scale of 1 over 8. So I will identify here we go, four marks on this vertical axis. So 1 over 8, 2 over 8, 3 over 8, and 4 over 8. And now the first point has x of 1 and uh, f of and y equals 0. Uh, here we go, this point. And the second one has x equal 5. So this is 5. Here we go, 5. And 4 over 8. 4, 4 over 8, 
so it will be somewhere here and now I join these two points here we go so this is my uh, PDF okay I'm going to use this curve in order to find probabilities for that variable okay so now that we have already drawn our PDF as you can see on the bottom right hand side it's what we did in the previous slide okay now we are ready to find probabilities and part B asks for the probability that X is between 2 and 4 so let's see where is this uh, on the curve it's we want X to be between 2 and 4 so here we go so we know that priority is the area under the curve so we're looking for this area right here we go and I will call that a1 okay so this is a1 all right now I can because a1 seems to for me to be the area of a trapezoid I don't want to do that we can find it easily of course but since this is not a geometry class and I'm sure that you're not you will not be happy to have that so I'm going to uh, simplify things I'm going to stick with finding areas of triangles so what I can see is this a1 is equal to a big A minus A2 where big A is all that okay big A is all this here we go this is big A and if I find all that area which is an area of a triangle you can see then I can subtract this area of the small triangle that I will call A2 okay so here we go a1 is equal to a minus a2 and this is a good news for 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 us because now what we have to do is simply to find uh, the areas of triangles right so a is the big triangle a2 is the small triangle so to find the area of the big triangle but first let me uh, clean this up you otherwise it will be a little bit complicated here we go okay so just remember that a is that big triangle um, as defined here okay a is the big triangle so it's between x1 and 4 so it's easy now we know that the area of a triangle is the base times height divided by 2 but to find the height okay the height which is that one the height at x equal 4 so what I need to know I need to know that point which means I need to know where is this here okay on f of x so what I do I know that this happening at x equal 4 so I find f of 4 and I find it to be 3 over 8 all right so here my lousy line was almost perfect okay once in a while I get this so it's 3 over 8 now I'm ready to find the height right uh, sorry the the area the area is base times height where the base is very very easy for us because it's equal to 4 minus 1 okay it's that distance here we go sorry it's that distance from here from 1 to 4 okay this is up to 4 so here we go so the base is 4 minus 1 which is 3 okay and I multiplied by the height that we just found which is 3 over 8 and we get 9 over 16 which is 0 0.5625 but this is not yet done we need to find a2 and then subtract a2 from the big a and this will be our a1 which is the air, the priority that we're looking for to find a2 this is very simple it's the area of the small triangle which is between 1 and 2 okay and now in this triangle we know that the base is 1 okay it's the distance between 1 and 2 so the base is 1 that's easy but what about the height it's that height here we go until here so how much is this 
okay how much is this here we go it's going to be i'm going to find f of 2 so f of 2 is 2 minus 1 over 8 i'm simply substituting the value of x by the original pdf function which is x minus 1 over 8 so i get 1 over 8 okay um so um sorry my, my line here was very bad and uh, so just forget about it and just look here at the answer here which is correct so one over eight now the area the base which is two minus one which is one times the height which is one over eight and all that divided by two so that's one over 16 so 0 0.0625 now we are ready to find a1 okay which is the area of that trapezoid and here we go 0 0.5 this is the priority that x is between 2 and 4 all right let's go to the last question so the last part uh, we want to find the priority that x is less than 3 again we'll go to the pdf curve and we uh, locate that 3 um i'm sorry about that this is not really up to scale because um three should be in the middle between one and five but doesn't matter this is only for illustration all what i want to show you is what's that area we're looking for so less than three which means the priority that x is less than three we're looking at this area okay which i'm calling a1 okay that's a1 so how to find a1 it's very uh, clear for us that this is the area of a triangle that has a base which is this 3 minus 1 that's 2 but i need to find the height okay this is the height to find the height what i do you see i i find f of 3 okay because at 3 this line will touch the, the the pdf and then i find then f of 3 this will be my height so f of 3 is 3 minus 1 over 8 2 over 8 now i have the height i have the base so i find the area here we go this is my answer the probability that x is less or equal than 3 it's equal to 0 0.25 okay so i hope that you found this uh, type of problems easy you can do it on your own i'm sure you can practice other type of uh, uh, different uh, functions okay so let's move on